Am I the asshole? For refusing to pay child support to my ex-wife for our children so she and her husband can save for their other kids. My ex-wife and I are the parents of a daughter who is 17 and a son who is 15. We share custody of our kids 50-50 and we have been divorced for 13 years now. Neither of us pays child support because we have equal time with the kids and we split the costs of everything school, medical, dental, extracurriculars. I opened up bank accounts for my kids when each was born and I have saved from the get-go, but around 8 or so years ago I came into some money because I was injured at work and I put that money into their accounts. As well as this a relative died 4 years ago and I was left a sum of money that also went into the accounts for my children. The money I have now saved for them will help them tremendously in their futures, whether they go to college or not. My ex-wife remarried several years ago. Her stepdaughter is 16. She's got a nephew of her husband's they are raising who is 14 and she has a 7 and 5 year old with her husband. Ex-wife wanted to talk to me about college for our kids and she told me that she and her husband had told all their kids that community college would be the most affordable option for them and that they would get as much help as possible but a more expensive school would be tough on them. I told her that our kids would have that option if they wanted it because I have saved a more than healthy amount for them. She asked me why I never told her sooner and I told her because I was taking care of our children and it wasn't something she needed to know. A few days after this talk she called me and alongside her husband said that they would like me to pay child support for our kids, so that they can save more money for their other children's futures. I told her I was not going to pay her child support just so she could support the other children in her home. Her husband told me I could always offer to split the money between all of the children. I told him I was not paying for his kids to go to college. I told them I only had a responsibility to my children. I told them if they wanted to save more money, I would happily take the kids more if they my kids want to spend more time at home with me. Ex-wife called me cruel and said keeping 50-50 and paying money so our kids' siblings can go to college should be a no-brainer for me. I told her the day I have an obligation to help her support her entire household is a day in another universe where we never broke up. But we did and she has to accept she is equally responsible for our kids as me. They both told me I was an ass and even though I feel like I'm crazy for asking, I must ask, am I the asshole? ETA The courts did not order CS because I only make a little more than my ex-wife and I was well below the threshold they used to determine CS in 50-50 custody cases. I have control of the money. My children are aware it is there and we have talked about it but they are still undecided on their future plans. They do not have access to the money yet. Not the asshole. You need to make sure they can't take your children to the bank and access the money. They are minors and she might try and get to it. You might just want to put the money in your name and pay your kids college and living expenses directly. Their mom might pressure and guilt them into giving her money. Not the asshole, what a laughable suggestion on their part. Are the funds in your kid's name? If so change it ASAP because first they tried to sucker you into paying up. Next targets are your kids they will try to convince them to share with their step-siblings change IT ASAP they'll try to guilt trip them. Not the asshole. I can't believe the nerve of your ex. How dare she. I can't believe she can't grasp the concept that you're not responsible for any kids other than your own. You're definitely not the asshole. Just as an aside, I hope that you've got a will, in case something should happen to you it sounds like your ex would try to get her hands in anything in your state and wouldn't put your children first. Not the asshole. You share custody and expenses evenly. There's no reason to pay child support. You are right her other obligations are not yours and are natural consequences of her decisions. Not the asshole, they are trying to sucker you into paying for their kids. Don't budge. Not the asshole. Also, I'd be extra careful with the college funds, your kids could be bullied into sharing with their step-half siblings in the future. They don't seem to understand what child support is. They seem to think it's just means free money. Not the asshole. Make sure your kids know their options. Protect their money at all costs. They might get lots of pressure from your ex's side. Child support cuts both ways. They try to sue you and then you sue them right back. Protect your kids. Student debt is not a joke. Not the asshole. The fact that you already have money for your kids college means your ex doesn't have to put money towards it even though she should, hence saving money for her other kids. Yeah you're not crazy, she's got some nerves and her husband even more so by asking money for their own kids. Some people I swear. P.S. And it's really great that you kept all that money for your kids. Many would have blown it off. Wait why should you be paying for their kids? It makes sense that you have planned for your children's futures. 
Imagine if the roles were reversed and it was you asking her for such a favor. I don't think she would ever agree to such a scenario. Not the asshole. The fact that they apparently just realize they should be saving for their large brood isn't your problem. Luckily for your kids, you did save for their futures. You have zero responsibility to pay for someone else's kids, or to pay child support when you already pay 50. They're just embarrassed and jealous that your kids will have opportunities that they can't provide for theirs. Not the asshole. Fear children are not your financial responsibility. Not the asshole. I think you should consider setting up a trust or account that cannot be accessed by your ex once your kids go to college. She may try to coerce your kids into giving her that money regardless of how you feel. Not the asshole. I'd quite read it has been full of stories about entitled people lately. OP you need to stand your ground. What they're proposing is completely ridiculous. Not the asshole please protect the children's savings so she does not have access to it. Not the asshole, and I hope you didn't tell her exact amounts. Not the asshole the actual audacity of some exes that expect their children's other parent to pay for their new children's lifestyle future is staggering. Her other children are not your responsibility. The fact that they asked you to split your savings for your two kids to their other children is ridiculous. Not the asshole. If I were you I would try to tickle the pay us so we can give it to our children out of them via text. So if they go for full custody or something like that you have proof of their intentions. Not the asshole, but ex-wife is stupid as HLL. Who in their right mind would think this was okay? Not the asshole. Not by any definition. It looks like the money you saved is going to be the only support your kids are going to get with any further education. Good for you making such an effort to push it up as much as possible and protect it from being abused by your ex. Not the asshole. Your ex and her husband are on another planet. You paying child support for their kids is a no-brainer for them, not you, and you are in no way responsible for making sure they can afford to send their children to college. The entitlement they're showing here is absolutely astounding. Not the asshole. Your ex-wife has got some major issues if she honestly thinks it's appropriate and acceptable for you to pay for all of her kids. I'm completely stunned at her audacity. To paraphrase Judge Judy, there's something wrong with her. If you don't have the disposable income to take care of your kids before you play birth control Russian roulette then you better make sure you're so safe that nothing short of heavenly help would get through. Please don't give them your hard-earned money. Not the asshole and omg I am so embarrassed for your ex's new partner this would go great in the entitled parents sub. Not the asshole. Her and her husband are the assholes for trying to get you to pay for their kids. What nerve they had. Phew. We share custody of our kids 50-50. Not the asshole. You have no obligation of paying for someone else's kids to go to college. Not the asshole. It really sucks that your children's siblings won't have the same opportunities they will. But it's not your fault or your responsibility to provide for them. Not the asshole, you did everything you had to, which was take care of your kids and you were right to say you have no obligation to their kids. You even offered to take on your own more often. So, I think you already tried to help. Not the asshole. You are right on all accounts. Not the asshole that's a no-brainer. You made the choice to prepare for your kid's future and your kids will be very very thankful later your ex-wife didn't prepare for anyone's future her choice so why would she be entitled to the savings for her new family? What are your kids saying? I am not sure they would feel ecstatic to share. Also, the new husband is a real eye your children, your problems. WTH? So shameless. Not the asshole at all. It's up to them to save for their other kids' futures. You are being sensible and giving your kids options. You also have them 50 of the time, so no obligation to give her anything. The audacity to ask you this, flushed face, flushed face. Not the asshole and you're right, you sound crazy I say this in a fun banner. You've obviously been dealing with this type of baboonery for a while, that their crazy starts to seem almost normal. Not the asshole. Not your kids not your responsibility. Not the asshole. You have no obligation to support kids that aren't yours. It sucks for them that their parents can afford college? Yes. Is it somehow your responsibility? No. Not the asshole you don't owe them any money. Sounds like they can't afford any more kids anyway. If you haven't already I'd have a college discussion with the oldest at least. What are her plans for after graduation? Talk about expenses for college and best way to stretch the money you have saved for them. Not the asshole. I was so ready to call you an asshole cause parents should always pay child support except you aren't. 
You have 50-50 custody and you are supporting your children. Your ex and her husband have to figure out something else cause your obligation and responsibility is only your children. Not the asshole. She's totally out of line. Your children, your responsibility, your money. Watch out that she doesn't try to get the money other ways guild pressuring the kids or so and speak to your kids and explain the whole situation to them. Not the asshole if she wants child support, she doesn't ask you she asks the court. She can try her luck there. Not the asshole, but time to talk to a lawyer and set the custody agreement in stone and make sure that your ex isn't filling your kids heads with lies. Take care, you are good dad. Not the asshole. They're taking entitlement pills. Not the asshole, the ex and her husband should not have had kids if they believe everyone else has to pay. They chose to have kids. It's their responsibility not yours. Kick their ass to the curb. Not the asshole. Yeah, it sucks for them and their kids but they aren't your kids. Your kids are your kids. Not your obligation so end of discussion. Not the asshole. Your wife and her husband just saw the dollar or euro whatever currency signs pop up in their eyes when you let them know you have made financial arrangements for your kids. No one asked them to have two more kids after they got married. They're entitled to. Not the asshole. Are they delusional? Your kids your responsibility. Their kids their responsibility. That is the no-brainer. His kids and their kids together is not your responsibility, they are major off for bringing this up, trying to milk you, trying to guilt you and putting their parental responsibilities on you. Their kids are not your kids, do not give in to their shenanigans. I hope the accounts you created for them is secure and your delusional ex and her delusional husband cannot get their scaly fingers on your hard-earned money. Not the asshole. You are under no obligation or reason to provide for the other kids' education. Just tell your ex not to tell her kids themes the breaks. Every time posts like this come around it always blows my mind that people think they are entitled to other people's money and will weaponize children to try to obtain it. Not the asshole.